Good morning, everyone. It is sunrise. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. We're going to start off with a familiar song, I think familiar for a lot of folks. As the sun comes up over the ridge, and no, that picture behind me is not the actual sunrise, but it is 7.06 a.m. It is sunrise time here in Maryville, Tennessee, where I'm seated, close by Knoxville for Lincoln Park United Methodist Church, Linwood United Methodist Church. And traditionally, we would be having a sunrise service out in the parking lot at Linwood United Methodist Church. So although I'm reluctant to sing by myself, given the occasion, let's, let, let's sing together if you know this one. Were you there? Were you there? Just one verse of it. Were you there when God raised him from the tomb? Were you there when God raised him from the tomb? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when God raised him from the tomb? And we have in Scripture accounts of what happened on that Easter morning so long ago. For this sunrise service, we'll read from Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 through 10. At 10 a.m., we will be holding our, our regular Sunday morning service for the, uh, the dispersed church. But then it'll be Easter Sunday, and we'll be focusing on John chapter 20, verses 1 through 18. But right now, Matthew 28, 1 through 10, it says, After the Sabbath, at dawn, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to look at the tomb. Look! There was a great earthquake, for an angel from the Lord came down from heaven. Coming to the stone, he rolled it away and sat on it. Now his face was like lightning, and his clothes as white as snow. The guards were so terrified of him that they shook with fear and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He isn't here because he's been raised from the dead, just as he said. Come, see the place where they laid him. Now hurry, go and tell his disciples. He's been raised from the dead. He's going on ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. I've given the message to you. With great fear and excitement, they turned away from the tomb and ran to tell his disciples. But Jesus met them and greeted them. They came and grabbed his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that I am going to Galilee. They will see me there. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This is indeed a joyous time. It is the culmination of a long, hard week, a long, hard life, really a long, hard existence of humanity going all the way back to Adam and Eve. And this morning, Christians all over the world are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Would you pray with me? And you may recognize that there will be times in here where we say together, wherever you are, though we are dispersed around the country, maybe even around the world, we are together in spirit and we'll say the phrase, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. 
Dear Heavenly Father, for Christians throughout the world who celebrate the resurrection of Jesus this Easter morning, that we may know that nothing can separate us from the love of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of the nations and cities of the world, that they may be wise in their administration of government during this pandemic and selflessly serve the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all bishops, pastors, and leaders of our congregations, that they may faithfully tend the family of God during this season of social distancing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For doctors, nurses, and other health care workers who tend the sick and dying, that they fulfill their vocation without undue fear of personal danger, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick and those alone in quarantine, that they may find comfort and care in their time of need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the earth you have given to our care and for all creatures who share it with us, that you may be glorified in all your works, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we your children never pray alone, but only with all your saints in all the world. And therefore we pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This sunrise service, as the sun continues to rise, it's a joyous time, but we're keeping it brief. And just as we opened in song, let's sing together a familiar song from Charles Wesley. Christ the Lord is risen today, and I'll bet you know the words, you know the tune. Follow along as best you can. Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Earth and heaven in chorus say. Alleluia. Raise your joys and triumphs high. Alleluia. Sing ye heavens and earth reply. Alleluia. Hmm. Typically, when we end this service, we would join together in an Easter breakfast. And unfortunately, that is something that we must engage in in a dispersed manner. Not been able to figure out how to share pancakes through Facebook Live or the telephone. But as we move on into this celebration of Easter, again, we invite you to join with us at 10 a.m., We'll be right here on Facebook Live, same place, and on the teleconference. And for those of you who might be watching a recording, you may have missed sunrise, but you have not missed Easter. Easter occurs every Sunday, every day in our hearts. And so we bid you now go in peace to love and serve the risen Lord. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>